Hello everyone, today's video is about the Alliance HD1 or the Alliance HD1. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. This radio is really amazing. You know how I, how I love all my radio, as I always say, but every time I get a new DMR HD, it seems that it's more and more I'm radio friendly. There's maybe two reasons for that. Maybe they make it more simple for us to use, or I'm getting just better with DMR and I understand better cod plug and that's why it's more easy but maybe it's a combination of both but what I like the most about this radio well it's a dual band it does DMR it does FM as well but you can navigate through the menu even if you receive a signal you're not stuck to switch between QSO so this I like it very much there is a very nice color display that you see you know the information it was easy for me also to upload the full dmr id contact list into that radio so that was great and they also include a switching knob will let you switch through channel and you can use it to navigate through the menu this is very very nice it's a lot easier uh, to use than the the uh, the touchpad in the middle of the rt82 this is made by the same manufacturer, which is Retevis, but they say that this unit is more AM radio friendly. So let's proceed with the review and I'll be back after. Okay, now let's do a quick unboxing to see what's in the box. So you get the HD1 manual, the radio, and it's up to 10 watts on VHF. This is a dual band, VHF, UHF, as you can see. And now you can see the radio itself. And there's also an IP67 mic connector. There's a 3200 milliamps battery, and there is a programming cable came with mine, and also have the power pack, the bell clip, the SMA male antenna on the radio. So this is different of what we, uh, we, we used to have with the MR radio. And you have the docking charging station. If you go on the Retivis website and see uh, for the HD1, you will, they will tell you that the keyboard operation by hand, so that is completely true, so you can program it. DMR Chair 1 and Chair 2 compatible. You can even listen to radio broadcast with this radio. This make it the perfect companion for club for emergency purposes as you can enter 32 radio ID. So you can have all your club member uh, for emergency purposes into it. IP67 waterproof and also receive radio broadcast. If you go on the resource page, you can download the manual, you can download the CPS programming software, and also the latest firmware. There's two versions, GPS and non-GPS. It will be at first in Chinese, so you will need to change the software uh, into uh, English. First thing you need to do with a DMR radio is read the radio config first so that's what I do and you will see the wonderful beautiful di color display of that radio and when it's loaded up you can start editing your cut plug but first let's go on amateurradio.digital where you can download almost any DMR radio contact CSV file pre-formatted downloaded directly from DMR mark this was sent to me by a viewer thank you very much and now you don't have to edit the file to upload the full contact ID now let's go on to the CPS. As you can see, you have the basic setting here, the radio ID, you can set up to 32, the basic settings, and you can program buttons for function and one key call. You also can program your zone and you can program your channel as well. I just skip it, but that, that's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. You can also add your radio broadcast uh, that you can program as well and you have the uh, contact ID and you have the full contact list that you can import that the file we just downloaded from uh, amateur radio digital and then you can upload the full 92,000 contact into it let's go to the last page is around 3,000 page as you can see the full contact list is uploaded now let's turn on the radio you will see the nice color display. You press menu, you go into the menu, you can switch with the arrow air or the top knob. That is pretty neat. You can also switch channel with the top knob. You go in the menu, it's not it's a dual band radio, not dual VFO, but there is band A and band B. I set up a zone air on band A and all channel on band B. You press exit 
you switch ban and you can enter by an any frequency that is very very neat it's in the fo mode then you can switch back to the other zone okay that is on band a and then you can enter vhf or uhf frequency so i can switch power from that button and that i program please note that it is compatible with my ip67 and mic from my Retivis rt82 now let's do some audio tests in digital when you transmit with this radio it's become red and green when it's received so that is uh, very nice now let's do an analog test One of the things that I like the most about this radio is when you receive a signal, as you can see me transmit with another radio, you can still go into the menu and change config. Now let's listen to broadcast radio. So this concludes this video. I hope you did enjoy. Well, if you want to be notified for my next video, uh, please subscribe and you'll be one of the first to be notified. And please don't forget that I always do a French and an English video. But if you look in the back here, you will see that I, there has been some change in my shack. There's something big coming in that I can't wait to have. As usual, you know, I'm always excited when I receive radio related equipment and I follow the tracking number on the internet and I just can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. You know, we're, we're just like kids and I know that you are like me because most of my friends are like that too. So I'm very excited about this new unit that's coming in that I will be review. But I won't tell you, this is a surprise. So please subscribe. You'll be notified as soon as I have a new video online and you'll be, you will be one of the first to see what's going on here. So there's also other reviews coming. Thanks for watching and catch you some other time. 73.